Okay, this is a set of slides that deal with algal reproduction. First, we'll deal with some general concepts, then we'll go to each division's mode of reproduction. First concept, the alternation of generations. Algae literally do alternate generations, having one kind of form in one generation and then the next generation actually looks different in many of the algae. The three things that are alternating in this kind of life cycle include the chromosome number, 2n and 1n, those alternate. The mode of reproduction, whether it's asexual or sexual, and whether or not the form is the sporophyte form or the gametophyte form. And we'll clarify those in just a second. Now, spores are reproductive cells that require no fertilization with another reproductive cell to produce a whole new adult. Gametes are reproductive cells that require fusion or fertilization in order to produce a new adult. So the gametes need another gamete to fuse with to produce a new adult. Lastly, meiosis is the reduction division in terms of chromosome number, going oftentimes from a 2n chromosome number to a 1n chromosome number. Mitosis is simply a cell division where the chromosome number remains constant. So there's no change, I'll use delta here for change, in chromosome number in mitosis. So here, just to reiterate a couple of things, <clears throat> the sporophyte is the 2N algal generation. That means it's diploid because it has two sets of chromosomes in each cell. It has cells that undergo meiosis. This is reduction division to make haploid spores. Those are one end spores. So the chromosome number is cut in half. Those spores divide repeatedly through mitosis, the non-reduction division, and grow into a gametophyte. That gametophyte is haploid in chromosome number one end. And as an adult, these gametophytes produce gametes, hence their name. Those gametes are also 1N through the process of mitosis. And then there are usually two different kinds of gametes, male gametes and female gametes. So there may be male and female gametes. And they unite in the process of fertilization to make a 2N zygote. And that zygote goes through mitosis, repeated cell division, to grow up into a sporophyte. And the sporophyte, again, is this adult 2N algal phallus. Okay, next set of ideas. The sporophyte is the algal form that produces spores. So the sporophyte produces spores. Great way to name it, right? Here are the spores right here. The gametophytes, they produce gametes, right? So again, spores are reproductive cells that do not require fertilization to produce a new adult. So each of these will make adults without the interaction with any other cells. However, the gametes produced by these gametophytes have to fuse in the four in fertilization right here in order to produce a zygote which is a developing new adult and then eventually end up there. So here we have another picture of this same concept of the alternation of generations life cycle. This is for the green algae. So this is a typical green algae life cycle. Here we have the sporophyte down here. This is the sporophyte in the lower right corner. The chromosome number of the sporophyte is 2N. So this is a diploid organism. It undergoes meiosis, that's reduction division of certain cells to produce haploid spores. So these spores are now 1N in chromosome number. They do not need to fuse with any other cell to make a new generation. Some of the cells will grow up to become this kind of gamete here, other cells 
will grow up to become the other kind of gamete. Notice that there's two different gametophytes, right? One of them is basically male, right? That's this one, is the male gametophyte. And then this one is the female gametophyte, okay? Each of these, right, are 1N in chromosome number, both of them, because they came from these 1N spores. They went through mitosis to divide and divide and divide to grow up into these adult forms, which we call gametophytes, because they then produce the gametes, right? They have cell division that produces gametes. Their cell division to make those gametes is mitosis. It's a division of cells that does not involve the reduction in chromosome number, and therefore we have 1N. These are 1N, or haploid, gametes. These happen to be female gametes right here. These happen to be male gametes here. When they fuse in fertilization, right, this is what a gamete is, it requires fertilization to make a new generation, then they will become 2N now. So as soon as they fuse, they become 2N because we have N chromosomes in the male gamete and N chromosomes in the female gamete. They fuse, these are now 2N in chromosome number. We call that diploid. So in this particular slide, we see the sporophyte form alternating with the gametophyte form. So that's one thing that's alternating. The sporophyte is 2N in chromosome number, or diploid. The gametes, uh, the gametophytes, excuse me, are 1N in chromosome number, both of these. So we're alternating between 2N and 1N. And then this kind of reproduction where we're making spores, this is asexual reproduction. And where the fusion of gametes is involved, this is sexual reproduction. So we have asexual and sexual, sporophyte and gametophyte, and we have diploid and haploid. Those are all things alternating in this alternation of generations life cycle. So just to summarize these general concepts, we have three things alternating in the alternation of generation life cycle, sporophyte and gametophyte, 2N or diploid versus 1N haploid forms. Usually the sporophyte is 2N, the gametophyte is 1N, and sporophytes produce spores via asexual reproduction, and gametophytes produce gametes via sexual reproduction. This is a slide of the typical green algae life cycle. We've seen it before. The key thing in the green algae life cycle is that the two generations, the gametophytic generation here, these are gametophytes, and the sporophyte generation here, these look alike, they're the same size, and they live about the same amount of time, so same size and same duration. Differentially, reproduction in brown algae has a different twist to it. Here is a typical fucus or bladder rack brown algae, and at the tips of the branches are these reproductive structures which are called conceptacles. Some people will call them receptacles. You can see the conceptacle here. What happens in the brown algae is that in these conceptacles, an entire generation takes place. The production of spores by the sporophyte happens inside the conceptacle. Those spores produce the gametophytic generation, which takes place inside the conceptacle. It's not separate from the sporophyte generation, it happens inside, within the confines of these conceptacles. So the entire gametophytic generation is taking place inside the reproductive structures. And then those gametes mature. They're, they're very small in size. They live a very short time. And they mature into the um, gamete-producing structures in the conceptacle, release their gametes into the water and those will go around the water you can see here we've got the gametes being released into the water and then they will be released out into the water column fertilization will take place in the water column 
and then those fertilized zygotes will eventually develop into a sporophyte. So the key here is that in the brown algae we have a reduced gametophytic generation. It's shorter in terms of duration and the gametophytes themselves are smaller in size. In many brown algae they are totally separate from the sporophyte. In this fucus the gametophytic generation takes place inside the sporophyte generation. In the kelps it's the same idea. We have a reduced gametophytic generation. However, here the sporophyte, right there, the 2N sporophyte, goes through mitosis, uh, excuse me, meiosis to produce spores. Here are our 1N spores. Those 1N spores grow up to be two different gametophytes. Here's the male gametophyte here, and here's the female gametophyte here. They are both 1N gametophytes, but they're both microscopic right? I don't even need to do that. That's right there. Microscopic, right? And short-lived. So they are reduced in size and duration. They produce their gametes. Those gametes fertilize and then develop into the 2N sporophyte. Now here we have the red algae. And as I mentioned in class, the red algae have a slightly different way of doing this. They actually have, if you look at this, the question asks you how many generations can you see here? So how many stages are labeled with the term either sporophyte or gametophyte? So here, if you look at this, we have the gametophytes, the male and female gametophytes. Over here we have something called the carposporophyte. And over here we have, underneath this, this is the tetrasporophyte here. So there's actually one gametophytic generation and two sporophytic generations. So there are three generations all together. Next question asks, how many types of structures with the term spores can you see? Well, if we look at this, right, from this carposporophyte, we see carpospores. So these are carpospores. Over here, we see the term tetraspores. So we have two different types of spores happening in this particular type of reproductive cycle. So three generations, two of which are sporophyte generations, meaning that they produce spores, right, which are cells that can produce a whole new generation without union with another cell. So this particular life cycle goes as follows. We'll start with the 2N carposporophyte. It's 2N in nature. It's producing spores, and those spores right, are going to grow up into these tetrasporophytes. Notice that these carpospores are 2N in nature, and they produce a 2N tetrasporophyte. So no meiosis here. This is just mitosis for these spores to develop into the tetrasporophyte. These tetrasporophyte organisms then have cells that undergo meiosis, so that's reduction division, and they make 1N tetraspores. All right? Those tetraspores are two different types. They develop into the male and female gametophytes. Again, these are both 1N because the spores are 1N. They will produce gametes. Right? Here are the gametes here. There's a gamete there. These are 1N gametes. They will fuse right, in the course of fertilization to make a 2N zygote. That will divide until it becomes this carposporophyte. So three generations, two types of spores, a little more complicated cycle. Here's another species of red algae. Notice that we have again three generations. So we have the carpospores developing into the tetrasporophyte. These are 2N spores making a 2N tetrasporophyte as it's shown here diploid. Some of those cells go through meiosis to make tetraspores. Those are 1N spores after meiosis. Two different kinds. They'll develop into the male gametophyte and the female gametophyte. These are haploid again in nature. They will produce sexually making gamete. Here's the sperm. Here's the egg. Right? Those gametes fuse to form a zygote that will grow up into a carposporophyte 
and then those carposporophytes will produce carpospores and they will then become the tetrasporophyte. So we have asexual reproduction happening in both of the sporophytic generations and sexual reproduction happening in the gametophytic generation. Three generations, different kind of alternation of generations. So let's just summarize. What's meant by the term alternation of generations? We want to know what's alternating, right? We want to know the difference between spores and gametes. To understand this whole process, we need to remember the difference between meiosis and mitosis. And then we want to know the basic differences between the reproductive cycles found in the green, the brown, and the red algal groups. So alternation of generations is a life cycle where there are at least two different forms or morphs of an organism, and in this case includes both a diploid form and a haploid form, at least. Once again, spores are reproductive cells that can produce a new adult without any other cell, without fertilization. These are usually part of asexual reproduction and are often formed through the process of meiosis. A gamete is a reproductive cell that must join with another reproductive cell, what we know of as fertilization, to form a new adult. These are part of sexual reproduction and in the algae are usually formed, the gametes are formed by mitosis. Mitosis is the division of the nucleus of a cell where the chromosome number remains the same before and after division. So in mitosis, if you start out with a 2N chromosome number, both of the product cells are 2N in chromosome number. In meiosis, if you start out with 2N chromosome number, you end up with 1N in chromosome number in each cell. Frequently in meiosis, there are two divisions that help the reproductive cells go from 2N to 1N. Lastly, to differentiate between the three divisions of algae and their general reproductive cycles, in green algae, the sporophyte and the gametophyte generations are usually equal size and equal duration. In the brown algae, we see a reduced gametophytic generation, reduced in size and duration. In the red algae, there are three generations. The tetrasporophyte makes 2N spores, the gametophyte makes 1N gametes, and the carposporophyte makes 1N spores. Three generations, two different kinds of sporophytes. After you've viewed this, now take a look at the questions that accompany this assignment and answer those questions as best you can. We'll be talking about this in class tomorrow. Thanks very much.